This shall be a year you will much remember in your life. Yeah. And this fasting season will make unusual things happen in your life. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Who are prophets? Today is our first prophetic release service. God told me, step out and declare the restoration of all granted destinies. Cry aloud in the valley of dry bones and I will give them life. Today, everything holding anybody hostage in any form shall be broken off your life. Yeah. Ezekiel 37 and verse 10 to 14. This is where the interpretation of that encounter came. So I prophesied as he commanded me and breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Zion, the church. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. I got off from my path. There are many believers today in that state. What else? Everything is off. Then he said unto me, Son of man, I may therefore prophesy unto them, thus saith the Lord, Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves yeah. and cause you to come out of your graves. Yeah. And I will bring you into my agenda for the year. Yeah. And you shall know that I'm the Lord. When I've opened your graves, oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves. Hey. Now listen, every form of grave shall be shattered by the arm of prophetic arm. Hey. Now hear this, it will help you to receive what is going on. Who are prophets? Prophets are agents of liberation, not of bandage. He sent Moses, the prophet. Come now, now we send you to Egypt. Let me bring out my people out of the land of Egypt, the house of bandage. My God. And God did what he said. For by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of the house of bandage. You are coming out today. <laughs> and by a prophet was he preserved. We'll see at chapter 12 and verse 13. Prophets are custodians of God's agenda on the earth. The Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Prophets are God's watchmen over the church and the nations. Zechariah 3, 17, I've made you a watchman, nobody will receive a word from me and give them warning from me. I said to you as a prophet over the nations and the kingdoms. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. But just that there are fake currencies in every nation of the world, there are also fake prophets. Come on, are you hearing me? Many self-styled prophets, money-collecting prophets. But the fact that there are fake currencies is a proof that there, is, there are the genuine ones. You can only fake something that's genuine. You can't fake the fake. In the same vein, the fact that there are false prophets all around the world today is a validation that there are genuine prophets of God on the earth. How do I know which is genuine and which is fake? Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 21 and 22. 
Deuteronomy 18, 21 and 20. And if thou shalt say in thy heart, how then shall we know the word with the Lord has not spoken? Now, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing with the Lord has not spoken. But the prophet has spoken in presumptuously. Thou shall not be afraid of him. Can't him for fake. But then you may have the new prophets and have a wrong disposition to them. Ezekiel 33, verse 31 to 33. That is the word of the Lord. And they come unto thee as people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. They hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Now, and lo, thou art unto them a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Now, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. It will come. The one who scorn it will be the loser. The ones who embrace it will be the beneficiaries. Lo, it will come. Every genuine prophet speaks as God's mouthpiece. What they say comes, it may not come to pass in your life, but they come to pass in the life of the people that choose to believe them. Command it to turn a proctano they, they stand to misunderstood any day because they say things that are off site. They don't line up. You say that you have a, a, a you know eviction order in your church in um, Kaduna. You say God said that let's get down to Lagos. Are you not running away? God didn't tell him anything like that. They mean just trying to escape from this problem. No, it, it's time to be misunderstood. Stand still. You know that the prophet prophetic release. You know the reason why so people can come to church. So you just sit down in the wrong side and nothing good is happening. Nothing good is happening. I spend hours upon hours in the night in the day buying to the mind of God for what the year carries. I told my son last night as I woke up about five times the previous night I would just lay down and then light to strike I'll come back again to my table. And then... Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. We are not those forming words, sir. No, sir. We are not forming words. No, we are not. Now, listen. This church will experience four-dimensional level of growth. Amen. Amen. This year. Amen. There is no go come about it. I don't believe it. That's your cup of tea. Did you believe that we we'll get to 75 nations last year? Why did we get there? Did you ever pray on it? Did you ever pray on it? That, that's how irrelevant you and I are in God's agenda. Those who care to follow, they benefit from it. Those who despise it, they just lose out. And so we sat down at home, and what we saw from 95 of our foreign mission in Divo, we saw more than that in one year. Since 95, we saw more than that in one year. For 27 years, we saw more than what we saw in 27 years in one year. Because God said so. Parisco Kakento Nageta Pradeko. Every grave that must have held you down in a choking situation in any area of your life, I command them open today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet, he shall receive a prophet's reward. There's no game about it. You don't receive it, you can't get it. Believe the Lord your God shall be established. Believe also his prophets that he sent to you and ye shall prosper. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Prophets are agents of rescue. Today is declared your day of rescue. 
Isaiah 42 and verse 22. This is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hidden prison houses. They are for a pre and non delivered and for a spoil and nonsense restore. God sent me to tell the forces holding you back, restore. He sent me to throw you this lifeline. Get out of that pit where there is no water. Every siege of sickness and disease tormenting anyone under the sound of my voice is declared over today. of the devil that wants you dead dies in your place. For Israel is my son and my firstborn and let my son go that he may serve me. If you won't let him go, I will kill your son because I must free my son. Whatever won't let you go, God will kill Whatever is sitting on your destiny, the destiny of your children, the destiny of your family, in the name of Jesus, they are unseated today. It's your day. Today is your day. Fasting is ordained for the rescue of the oppressed. The rescue of those held down by the wicked. Therefore, today, today, this day, not tomorrow, today, today, whatever has been choking any area of your life is broken off you finally. Jesus was in Nazareth and he could do no mighty works and he marveled at the unbelief. Is that prophet that came like Moses? Is God fulfillment of prophecy? Yet he couldn't impart on them because of their unbelief. Now, listen to me. Everyone under any marital siege today, that siege is declared over. For it is your father that sets the solitary in families. Psalm 68 and verse 6. And bring it out. Those which are bound with chains and make cook a kanga. Every generation, of course, that must have heard anybody bound in chains, maritally, those chains are declared broken. <laughs> Mark it down. You are set for marriage, it's settled this year. You are set for marriage, it's set to this year. You are a widow, believing God for a resettlement, it's set to this year. You are a full grown adult lady, it is set to this year. Now that the battle is over, now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over. I am more than a conqueror. Today is your day. Watch. Everyone serving God is not permitted to be barren. On three counts. 
as a covenant child, a seed of Abraham, the Bible says you shall be blessed above all people. There shall not be men or female barren among you, nor among your cattle. If you be crying, then you are Abraham's seed. That word came down for the seed of Abraham. This told me chapter 7, verse 14. Now watch. You shall serve the Lord your God. And there shall not be barren among those who are serving him. Number three. And the fruit of the womb is his reward for serving him. Watch. As the 